This is a work called Denver from 2007, I believe. Um, and here's a little bit about my work. These large-scale photographs, photographic works emerge from a constant observation of natural and urban environments as they relate to social, political, personal, and art histories. In most of my photographic works, the landscape serves as a central and formative catalyst, generating ideas surrounding place, time, and the characters that populate and are active within each of the locations. These works are the result of an unraveling and reworking of diverse narratives to construct new, nonlinear narratives that oscillate between the realms of fact and fiction. And I'm really influenced by language and um, how to use the poetic in a, in a photographic way. Um, and so that and I make um, photographs and installations and performances and theater pieces. And I hopefully all of all of the work sort of informs the other. Um, my poetry teacher, Ann Lauterbach, once said, um, let the language fall into itself. And I kind of took that motto as like a way to construct different art practices and combine them together. So I'm going, so this is, these are my works. Again, I'm going to go back because there's only four. <laughs> and then I'm going to go forward. Um, I have a theory. Um, Dr. Kenneth Montague is here, who's an amazing collector and also a curator. And he has always shown me photographs of his travels in um, the Caribbean and Jamaica. And I have this theory that you can never take a bad photograph in Jamaica. <laughs> so I proved that theory last month <laughs> by going to Jamaica for research. Um, <laughs> And, um, and, and, and so this is, this, these photographs that I'm going to show you along with, there's a series of photographs that are concerned with the landscape of Jamaica, um, particularly Treasure Beach to Kingston. And then, then there's another series of photographs that have to do with daggering, which is a, a form of um, dance, dance hall. Um, here's the urban dictionary um, definition. <laughs> Oh, there it is. What is daggering? Some call it dry <laughs> on the dance floor of a dance or party, but daggering is where a man and a woman are dancing in a sexually provocative manner, which usually includes them simulating various sexual positions and oftentimes rough sex to the beat of whatever music is playing at the time. So what I'm interested in right now is how to locate what bodies do in landscape, and then how landscape also influences uh, the bodies. And to see the correlation between the colors, the, the sort of architecture and the design of, of landscape, but also look at how, how human beings um, exist within it. Um, and it's a really simple thesis. It's, 